<clears throat> Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Frequently I'm asked how to hook up or how to create an ignition system for a bike um, when the wire harness has been cut up and messed up or um, removed from a, a bike that somebody bought or some kids got to and kind of messed with and now there's no wiring. Um, obviously an engine needs spark to work. Okay, so what I have here, this is a Yamaha engine. Most of the work I do is on Hondas and Honda clones, um, the, um, the Chinese bikes that um, are very similar. Their ignition system is very similar to the Honda ignition system. So anyway, I opened up this um, Yamaha. This is from a Moto 4 and it's 80 cc's. Um, what's wrong with this? Um, I think it was over revved or the oil wasn't changed frequently enough and the, um, the rod snapped. Uh, do take note of how careful I'm being with my words. <laughs> anyway, um, the important things, I always tell people, you have to make your CDI happy or you will not get a spark. So this is your standard CDI unit. We're talking about a pit bike, so it's an AC CDI unit. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at the back of the plug. And as you look at the back of the plug, right, you can see this is uh, a blue and white wire, the top one, right? We're going to go around counterclockwise. So the top wire on the left-hand side of the snap in there, notice that's blue and white. That goes out to the pulse generator. Notice the green below it, that's ground. The center two have nothing on them. The bottom one of the center two, if you were to ground that, you would turn off the CDI. So normally I just cut it out of there and leave it, just leave it float. Um, the bottom right hand side, you see a black and red. That's uh, power from the stator, and once again, that's AC. And you could see the black and yellow. And that goes out to the primary of the star, uh, spark coil. So basically, to make your CDI happy, you only have to hook up four wires. Ground, the blue and white wire, or blue and yellow. In a lot of cases, it's blue and yellow, so don't get messed up with that. Anyway, that comes from the spark generator, and that tells this thing when to spark. Ground is a reference for everything. AC powers is what powers the CDI unit. And once this thing fires a voltage off, it goes out to the spark coil that steps it up to a high enough voltage where you can actually get a spark to you know, make your engine run to ignite the, um, the gasoline and air mixture. So, you can see my CDI, and it's sitting right here. This is a pit bike harness. Um, I bought the harness, the CDI, and the coil. They go for about 20 bucks. Notice one side of the coil has green on it, ground. You always have ground on just about everything. So you got ground, and notice the... Um, the black and yellow. It kind of goes into the harness and comes back out, but this black and yellow ends up right there. So, CDI, and it's got a spark coil. The first thing is done. What else do I need? I need to get this, um, in, the, in the case of this um, Yamaha uh, Moto 4, I need to get the power from this stator out to that CDI. So if you start looking at it and looking at the color of the wires, right, am I showing you the wires or am I just kind of staring off into space here? There you go. See the black and red wire? Wow, pretty cool, huh? And then you got a, um, there you go, black and red wire right there. Um, power from the stator. So you have to get from this out, and if you follow the wire harness right here to the out point, 
right? You could see the black and red plugged in here, and you could see the black and red here. So you could see they go together. So that's one thing. The only thing that Yamaha does a little differently, this black and white for the other side of the coil, right? It comes out of here. It's not grounded right here. It, it comes from, uh, it goes out. So what I had to do was trace this black and white wire and it's going to be ground and look there's the black and white wire and what is it going into right ground also notice I have a ground hooked up to the case why to have spark right you got to ground the other side of that so one side of the spark plug goes into the that end and the other sp side of the spark plug is hooked to ground so now I've satisfied um, the ground, I've satisfied the power, I've satisfied the, the spark coil. What do we have less, left? The pulse generator. Here's the pulse generator. The pulse generator on Yamaha bikes, um, it's a little different than Honda bikes. Honda bikes um, use a crystal so when, or a semiconductor device such that when the magnet goes by the semiconductor device, it um, shoots off a little electrical pulse. In this case, they're using a coil with a ferrite in the center of it. The coil, especially with that many windings on it, um, this pulse generator puts out more power than the pulse generator of the um, semiconductor device. So that's one of the concerns. When you have this thing winging about, you're really putting quite a bit of pulse generator power into your CDI unit. And there's some concern that um, your CDI might not be long lived for this. I really don't mess with Yamaha engines all that much. You should be able to get it started. You should be able to get it rolling, get it moving. But I can't guarantee how long your um, CDI is going to last. Because once again, this pulse generator is going to put out more power. And you might kill the first device, the input device on, on that thing. You might have to do something like um, put a thousand ohm resistor across here but the only problem with that when you try to start it and you're not you know the engine isn't turning very fast um, you might not get enough of a pulse to trigger it you know once again I haven't messed with this all that much on Yamaha's I haven't um, damaged any of these by running them on Yamaha devices I've just heard from other people um, and I haven't done any experiments to keep from damaging these because once again I have very little experience with Yamaha's. Well let's again look at the pulse generator and you see there are two wires on it. You got a green and white which you got to hook to ground and then you got a white and red. The white and red has to go to the pulse generator and you can see it doing it right here. Right, white and red. And you see the green, this solo green, and you could see that going back into ground. And now everything is satisfied. I decoded all the wires coming out of here just for the sake of doing it. And I wrote it down here. So white with the red stripe pulse generator. Green with the white stripe from the pulse generator, you actually hook to ground. There's a black wire that kind of hooks up right there. That actually is ground, right? It's got, um, it bolts right into ground right there. Black with the red stripe is power for the CDI. White with the black stripe, that goes to ground. That's the other half of this. Uh, then you got the wires that go to this. Um, you got a white wire and then you got a yellow wire with a red stripe. Those are the two phases that go out to your full voltage regulator. On Honda, normally they're two yellow. Um, on some of the Chinese bikes, sometimes you have a yellow and a white or sometimes two whites. 
In this case, what Yamaha is doing, they have a single white wire and a yellow with a red stripe. Those are the two phases that go to your voltage regulator. And that leaves one blue wire. The blue wire, and you can see the blue wire kind of goes to this little, little thing right here, this little switch. That is your neutral switch. So, if I were to put a pit bike ignition on a Yamaha, that's how I would hook it up. Um, it's, it's just interesting. This is the Yamaha CDI unit. And they actually run both wires from the pulse generator to the CDI unit. They don't run wa one wire in on a common ground. I thought that was interesting. And also um, for this guy, for the, um, for the um, coil, at some point this black and white gets to ground and just the red goes into here. You can see if you go through the wires, see the orange wire goes out to the pulse coil. Once again, the black and red goes to the power of the stator. This um, black and white right there, that's probably the on and off switch. Green, um, that's half of this. White and red is the other half of this. And the pure black is ground. So if you have to decode their CDI unit, th those are the wires. Those are the definition of the wires. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm just going to scan down this slowly. And you can pause your camera. I'm sorry about the penmanship. And that's about it. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, one of my subscribers particularly has been asking me, and it's taken me a while to get back to him, and I apologize for that. Anyway, folks, I really want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember, keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.